All right, y'all. So I went to bed last night, woke up, seen Donald Trump is the 47th president of the United States now, where he's 45th and 47th president. First time this has ever happened in, since Grover Cleveland in the 1800s, late 1800s, I believe 1880s, 1890s. But, um, you know, a lot of people are mad on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram. I'm seeing people are following each other. A lot of people are crying and complaining. And, um, you know, a lot of people wanted Kamala to win. And let me say this, look, vote for whoever you want to vote for. That's the right as an American. You should be able to vote for whoever and not be judged. But I honestly thought Trump was going to win based on people underestimate his fan base. And <laughs> believe it or not, a lot of people are more happy on the, on the Trump's, the Trump's uh, administration than the Biden's administration. And even when it comes to Kamala Harris, people never got, I watched two raw video that shot out to him. A lot of people, you didn't get a chance to know her. She never did any press conferences. Um, they they had these shaming tactics. Like Obama came out and tried to shame men and uh, other other uh, people like celebrities try to come out and shame men and uh, a lot of people are just a lot of people are tired of the same old plays that they run and i'm not saying whether you have to necessarily vote democrat or republican but there's a group of people that's waking up saying okay look if we just vote this way what, what's going to happen with us and you got people out there like steve harvey saying basically shut up and vote and uh we, we need to get her in and you got people like uh ricky smiley saying oh because she's an aka we need to see that no people are waking up and wanting actual changes what's going to change the community and then you have a group of people that try to shame you for wanting things like that to the point to where they try to ban you like a uh What's her name? Joy Reid. Joy Reid, I believe. The new, uh, the newscaster, whatever, the anchor. She tries to, to, to shame you. And, you know, then you know they're going to try to blame black men to a degree, even though a lot of black men voted for her, Kamala. They're going to try to shame, they're going to try to blame black men at some point. And, uh, y'all yeah, have heard people say, well, the America's not ready for a president. Well, we had, we've had a, a, she was been the vice president for four years. And something, if Joe Biden would have got, wouldn't have been able to continue to be president, she would immediately step in. I don't think it's that. I think it's just, I think it was just her in general. Then she had a low approval rating. Wasn't it in the 20s? And Joe Biden had a low approval rating. And you haven't really hurt. You know, it seemed like he needed her to get the votes. She got the, she got him the votes. And then he pretty much put a muzzle on her. You don't really hear it like that. And then when you question her, she gets upset. And then, you know, even even like the the, the sisters, they be like, oh, what music you listen to? She, I listen to Tupac in college. How? You grew up in the 80s. He, he was in the 80s. with the in the 80s. Then she gets mad. And it's just, she turned a lot of people off. And listen, I'm not the biggest Trump fan at all. I do think Trump is a, is a, is a liar and a narcissist and everything else. But you have seen what four years under him look like. The American people have. And I mean, this country, honestly, we just, we, we begin out of control. And that's how a lot of people are looking at it like. And, um... Those old taxi in 2008, you know, people, people loved Obama. Obama was my, was my former Senator. So people loved Obama. Obama, Hey, he was charismatic. He had an if factor. I remember even in 04, people was wondering whether or not he might be the next president. Well, Kamala, she just came out of nowhere. There was no runoff, uh, no primary elections or none of that. They just, it, it went with well, Joe Biden had a meltdown online. I mean, on the debate with Trump, and then boom, she, uh, he he was he says he's not going to do it, and then all of a sudden she becomes the vice, the candidate, primary candidate for uh, as a Democratic Party, and it was like, okay, well then you don't even hear really support from Joe Biden, Jill Biden, none of these people. Like it's it's she's very corporate, and I think a lot of people are just not with that. So I don't know. I mean, there's going to be a lot of sad people, but at some point we won't have to move on. And another thing, I, and I actually made a comment about this. We. And I mean, the Negro community are so upset about this. How come y'all not upset when, when when people miss PTAs? How do you block people for voting Democrat, Republican, or Independent? But yet you'll sit there and go to a hair store that don't, and the person that go to the hair store look like you. You go to the gas station, the person going to the gas station don't look like you. You go to the liquor store, the person going to the liquor store don't look like you. You go to the corner store, the corner store is a person who don't look like you. To the point to where they can call you. A Negro and I'm a and and, and y'all really know what I really want to say and y'all cool with that when we have different and I'm saying we I'm saying the Negro community when we have different opinions we can't agree to disagree but every other culture can do that you know and it's it's sad it's sad and you they keep the same thing keeps happening every four years and there's a group of people out there who's complaining that wasn't even registered to vote and could have voted and they'd be the main ones a lot of times complaining so it was a lot and she had a 
She had a long shot. She actually underperformed in a lot of areas. Georgia flipped. The state I'm in flipped red. Last time under under Joe Biden, it flipped blue. And people got it's a lot of people, man, that's, that's just saying, no, nah, no more, man. We need to, until we get some actual tangible things, not no trinkets, nobody, it's, it's, it's not going to be the same anymore. So now moving forward, and I think she hasn't even, has she, she hasn't even given concession speech yet. I'm sure she's probably upset and angry and all the other stuff. But moving forward, if you want our votes and our support, what are you going to give us? I don't care about other groups of people getting home. What, what's going to happen with us? You know, you just telling me to shut up and vote and hope one day to pie in the sky. We've been doing that for 70 years. We have Roosevelt get in office. Okay, well, and on the third term. Okay, well, what are we going to get from this? So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Look, I don't care who you voted for. As long as you respect from the comments, I'm not going to delete it. But, you know, let's not insult each other. But, you know, I just want to know what y'all honestly think about it.